welcome back to my channel Chiru's Aspirations and today I am back with another amazing concept of mathematics in natural phenomena and in nature and as I said every week I will be coming up with the mathematics and the practical application and where we can find mathematics in nature and in our surroundings and in the last two weeks I have did about the Fibonacci numbers and the golden ratio two videos you can click the i button and go to that videos also and today i have the fascinating concept another concept we'll be discussing that and also i have been doing the 10th standard cbsc mathematics chapter by chapter i'm solving all those things all those concepts i'm explaining you can go to that videos also you can click the description link in the description and you can watch that videos also and now if you observe the earth the planets the heavenly bodies and the many more inside the earth also circular objects in 2d that is two dimensional plane there is an angle 360 what is this 360 why did this become 360 degree why can't it become 720 degree or 1000 degrees or something 100 or 50 degrees why this particular number 360 degree for a circle we'll be discussing that so amazing and beautiful I will be telling you four reasons why the circle should have 360 degree. The first reason is a circle will be having generally 360, right? So this is 360. Before going to 360, let me come up with what is the angle. So an angle is nothing but a line segment. Let me take this as a this is the center and line segment. So this should rotate. Then only the angle formation takes place. When this rotates, quarter, that is a line segment, when this rotates, quarter, then that becomes 90 degrees. Isn't it? When the same line rotates half, then it is called as 180 degree. Isn't it? When the same line rotates 3, 4, it is called as 270 degree. This one. And the same line, if it again comes back to its original position like this, then that is called as or full rotation, quarter rotation, half rotation, three fourth rotation, and also full rotation. So this is the angle formation taking place. The line starts to rotate with equidistance from the center. Let me take this as radius. If this is radius, then this way the angle formation happens. And when the angle forms like this, we need to see why this number 360 is arising. Why can't I take 100 degree like 50, 50, the straight angle should be 50 or 25, 25, 25, 25. No, everywhere 360 degree exists. And this is a degree measure. We have another measure for angle that is radian measure also. Anyway, I will be discussing that later in my another video. Here we will focus on the degree measure. Even the system international units, that is SI units, they have not mentioned particularly, but somewhere they have mentioned that degree can be used for the measurement of the angle. We will see one by one what is happening, why this is 360 degree. The first reason why it is 360 degree is yes. In the ancient times, the Babylonians and the Sumerians, so they were very curious and they found a method to find that is the circle as 360 degree. What these people do in the ancient times is they place a stick. For example, let's keep this. This is a stick. So, one find out what they do. They observe the shadow of the stick somewhere here. Let me take this one. This is the shadow of the stick. This is the shadow of this. This is the shadow. It was at some distance. Let me take this distance. Ah. So, what did this ancient people, the Babylonians, really do? They just measure the shadow of a line, a stick which could be placed 
of their madness. The next day when they came, they observed the shadow was somewhere here. Again what they did, they took the arm measurement and they placed the man. The third day what did they do? They come and observe. Again the shadow was somewhere here. Again it was equal to his arm. Likewise, every day they were doing continuous day which was equal distance from the initial state that is sent up. And one fine day, all the sticks were placed, all the sticks were placed, and it obviously formed a circle. And these people started counting these sticks. It was 360. How fantastic and amazing it is. Yes, it was 360. But I started learning it. We cannot believe this, right? Placing the stick and measuring and telling that it is angle, that doesn't make any sense. Then, our natural phenomena, whatever the natural phenomena happening, it may be the Big Bang Theory, or it may be the formation of the planets, or the evolution of life, everything, there is some pattern, there is some mathematical pattern behind that. So, after millions and billions here, we are discovering it. We are discovering the patterns of mathematics, what's happening. So, here, this circle formed and they started counting 360 sticks were there. And indirectly it shows that it became one year. Obviously, a year has 365 and a quarter days. If you consider the leap year, all those things. And there are many calendars also, like the Julian calendar or the English calendar or the solar, lunar calendar, all those things. Obviously, if we observe all the calendars, we'll be having 365, 360 or 355, around this numbers only, whatever the calendar we consider. So, these numbers, obviously, this particular 360 is selected. So, they wear a circle as 360 degree. So, this, the earth starts revolving around the sun. When the earth starts revolving around the sun, it takes 365 and a quarter days to complete one revolution around the sun. Isn't it? So, that revolution, obviously, at a different point, it is taking one degree angle per day, tilting and starts revolving around the sun. So that was the concept initially Asian days. So this is one of the reasons why circle has 360 degree. Let me go to the second reason why circle has 360 degree. 360 number is a very familiar number and a very beautiful number. So this number what happens? If I consider 360, so this 360 is nothing but the highly composite number. I repeat 360 is highly composite number. What is composite number? The number which have more factors is known as the composite number. Whereas the numbers which doesn't have any factor which is divisible by itself is known as prime numbers. Here 360 is a highly composite number. So three digit number if you take any number and find the factors, the number of factors you will be getting for 360 is more. Hence it is termed as highly composite number. How is this? Highly composite number. Let's see. So 360 is divided by 1. It has a factor 1. It has a factor 2. It has a factor 3. It has a factor 4. It has a factor 5. It has a factor 6. It has a factor 8. 7 is not the factor of 360. It has the factor 9. Also, it has the factor 12. It has the factor 15. It has the factor 18. It has the factor 20. It has the factor 24, it has the factor 30, it has a factor 36, it has a factor 40, it has a factor 45, it has a factor 60, it has a factor 72, it has a factor 90, it has a factor 120, it has a factor 180 and it has a factor 360. So many factors we have for 360. If you go for prime factors, you will be getting all these factors. So almost you will be having 24 factors for 360. No three digit number will get so many factors. That's why they have selected 360 degree as the angle of a circle, the complete rotation before taking 360. And a very essential part of calculating or the measuring angle is also radians. I'll be coming up in the next video about the radians also. So here, this particular number has so many factors Hence, 360 is a highly composite number, hence they have used for the complete rotation of the circle, the complete angle of the circle as 360, so that we can use this particular angle in the higher mathematics solving the minute angle difference 
also and i hope it's very beautiful and amazing is it so so beautiful so many factors that it's 60 hertz okay now we'll go to the third reason why the circle has 360 degree so the third reason is if you consider a circle if you consider a circle for example this is the circle okay so if you consider that i'm going to divide the circle by 2 what happens the total angle is 360 so half i'm dividing it becomes 360 by 2 which is 180 add this number 180 8 plus 1 plus 0 is 9 okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to again bisect this and this becomes 90 degree isn't it 90 degree add this number 9 plus 0 again 9 how fantastic is this okay i am going to again bisect this so we are going to get 45 right 90 by 2 is 45 again 45 5 plus 4 again 9 how fantastic is this isn't it okay i am going to divide this further and you will be getting 45 divided by 2 is 22.5 so 22.5 avoid the decimal point 5 plus 2 plus 2 again 9 how fantastic is this isn't it similarly if you divide 22.5 11 point something comes again it's 9 if you start dividing the circles multiple times and all the numbers what you'll be getting okay everything seems to be 9 how fantastic and fabulous is this isn't it there is some pattern in the 9 so when you start dividing the circle it becomes a singularity right so when we find the circle to be singular singularity if we focus to make the circle singularly singularity then obviously all the angles which we start dividing it corresponds to the pattern 9 how beautiful is this isn't it yes this is the third reason for why the circle is 360 degree now this is the third reason right the fourth reason why the circle is 360 degree is if you consider a circle if you consider a circle i am going to draw a triangle a polygon inside this what are the sum of the uh, angles interior angles of the triangle it is 60 60 60 so 60 into 3 is 180 again 9 8 plus 1 plus 0 is 9 what i'm going to do i'm going to take a square or quadrilateral i'm going to inscribe in a circle this is 90 90 90 and 90 so 9 4 are 36 again 360 again 9 if i inscribe square or quadrilateral in a circle now again i'll be inscribing some pentagon Some pentagon which has 108 degree, which means 108 into 5 is again will be getting 540. So 540, 108 into 5 again 540 will be getting again 4 plus 5 is 9. How amazing and fantastic is this! Again, let me go for the hexagon. So here I will be getting the internal angle of hexagon is 120 degree. Again 6 angles we have. 120 into 6 is again 720. 720, 7 plus 2 plus 0, again 9. How beautiful is this, right? So whatever the polygon we are going to consider, similarly if we take octagon, nanogon, whatever may be the polygon, like this, let me take nanogon. So it is octagon. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is not actual. Let me call it. 8. So for an octagon, the internal angle is 135 degree. If you take 135 into 8, because octagon has 8 sides and 8 angles, right? So you will be getting 1080. If you add this, it becomes again 9. How oh, fantastic and phenomenal performance! And the concept is like this. See so here, the Pattern is repeating. When we started dividing a circle, we got 9 as a pattern. And when we started doing 
the output, the convergence and divergence. Yes, they are doing divergence, right? The output divergence and this became nanogen, decagen and polygon. It's been going n can take any number of sides. So it's going on diverging, right? Outward diverging. So though the circle we are going to divide and converge and make singularity like this, or we are going to diverge the circle, the pattern is still repeating as 9. How beautiful pattern is this? Hence, 9 is called as a divine number and there is something called as divine symmetry. How beautiful is it, right? So, this is divine number and there is something called divine symmetry going on. So, 9 is a divine number. What is the divine number? Why it is called as divine number? Because, see, if you consider the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, excluding 9, don't accept 9. If you start adding all these things, Obviously, you will be getting 36. Okay. And why 9 is called as divine numbers? Whatever the number you are going to add to 9, again you will be getting same number. For example, 4 plus 9. It is 30. What is 3 plus 1? 4. Again you got the same number. Whatever the number you are going to add, you will be getting the same number. For example, let me take 3 plus 9. It is 12, right? 2 plus 1 is again 3. So 3, we got it. So how beautiful is this pattern, right? So 9 has a divine symmetry. So excluding 9, if we add this number, we are going to get 3, 36. That's nothing but 360 degree. So, so many concepts are there behind this 360 degree angle in a circle. So I hope this was a beautiful and a fantastic concept. So this way, we can find many more also. See, discovery, invention and innovation is at the infinite. So many things people thought of impossible, the people made it possible by rethinking, by asking questions and having passion to discover and invent. So many discoveries have happened and we should thank the mathematicians and the astrologers or whoever may be who started dedicating their lives in giving these patterns. So have that passion and you can create the impossible into possible and create many more discoveries like this, discover many patterns. And there are n number of, infinite number of patterns still remaining undiscovered. So let's have that passion and start doing it. This way 360 degree is opted for a circle to have a complete rotation as an angle. I hope you enjoyed this video and be coming up with another natural phenomenon of mathematics next week and by the time I'll be posting other videos of the 10th standard CBSC chapters also. Almost I've completed Euclid's division algebra real numbers. Soon I'll be going to polynomials and I have a plan of doing NCRT exemplar problems for competitive exams also. I'll be doing that. You can enjoy the problems and be coming with the techniques and tips how to solve the problem simply and quickly. And later on after completing all the chapters that is the regular concepts and also the competitive exam that is NCRT except the problems I will be coming up with the fascinating science concepts also there are many number of science concepts that are fascinating which are surrounding us we don't know I will be coming up with that concept also so don't forget to subscribe my channel you will not miss all these things and click the bell icon to get notifications for you if you like this video like it comment and share don't forget to subscribe my channel we'll have a great journey of mathematics and the nature hi take care